and the final fibre that's in the July parcels is cashmere. Um, this is another, it's short stapled, it's very very soft, very very fluffy. I tend to give you just advice on how to spin it straight from the fibres you get it out of the parcels but if you've got very very fine carders you might want to card this, turn it into um, poonies and spin it in that way. You can spin it with a short forward draw. Okay, if you start to get a little clump like that, stop and you can just st ease it backwards, fix the problem. This fibre being so soft will handle quite large amounts of twist. And by having quite large amount of twist, you'll stop it from pilling because the short staple fibres will like to ease their way out from the blend. I tend to draft it between my thumb and forefinger far more than I do with the longer staple ones when I tend to be a little bit more relaxed in the grip that I've got on the fibres because you do need to stop this fibre escaping and disappearing up into the orifice. If you're feeling ambitious, you can go straight from the end of the comb top as a form of long draw. Put some twist in that, otherwise it's all going to fall to pieces. It's going to be a bit more textured. Get that draft on. Or if you're struggling, again, break a piece off. It's really hard to fold this over your finger because it's quite short. So you end up more spinning from a clump of fibre than a, properly from the fold. But again, it can just help give you a bit more control to be able to do that backwards draft. Don't be afraid to use the twist with this. And then if you start to wash it and wear it and handle it, it softens up and the fibres start to fluff out of it and it becomes a very, very soft yarn. Okay. 